Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Unrelated to this video, we do have a special guest. This is my sister's bearded dragon. He's six years old and his name is Spike. During this week, I am looking after him, so he is going to be in the background of this video. Just in case you are wondering if I've got a new pet or anything like that. No, it's just baby sand duties. Anyway, today in this video, we're going to be talking about hamster sand baths and why they may be good or bad for your hamster and if you should actually give your hamster a sand bath. No matter what pet you have, Hygiene is extremely important because no one likes a smelly pet. All pet owners need to know the best ways to keep their animals clean and happy. We all know that it's necessary to give animals like chinchillas sand baths because they actually need them, but can you actually give your hamster a sand bath? When it comes to trying something new like giving your hamster a sand bath, it's always important to do your research and make sure that you're definitely going through the process in the correct way. And if you're watching this video, great job for doing your research. Owners of hamsters, like you and me, would never ever want to do something to harm our animals. That goes for every animal that you own. So ideally you should be doing it research for everything that you are introducing to your pet to see if it's safe or maybe if it's just a thing you should pass on. So let's dive into sand baths and talk a little bit more about them. Before we go any further though, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I will try and reply to you as fast as I possibly can. And yeah. All the products that I use for my hamsters and my rats are all linked in the description below if you want to go check them out. Don't forget they are affiliate links and I will get a small commission if you do follow through with using my link. It won't come at any cost to you though. A sand bath is quite different compared to the regular sort of bath that we might give to our dogs. Pet safe sand is poured into a container much like this or like this one. Anything that's big enough for your hamster to fit in and your hamster will go in and roll around in it and clean its fur. So rather than using soap and water like we would do for ourselves to clean the oils and the grease and the dirt away from your hamster's fur, your hamster will roll around in the sand bath. This will help remove any dirt or any grease from your hamster's fur. Essentially, they bathe themselves. We all know that hamsters love to groom themselves and hamsters stay clean by grooming themselves. By grooming themselves, they should generally stay clean. As long as their cages aren't dirty, their spot cleaning is followed through with every two to three days and their cages are fully cleaned out once a month. If you have the 450 square and recommended, if not, you're probably going to need to clean your hamster's cage out a lot more than this. However, there always is the possibility that your hamster's fur could get a little bit more dirty no matter how clean their surroundings are. Rob Rosky's fur tends to get a little bit more greasier than other species of hamsters so it is recommended that they should have a sand bath at all times in their cage but if they don't have one it's not detrimental to their health. Water baths are never recommended for hamsters as most hamsters would hate being immersed in water. If given the option most hamsters would avoid it. I do have another video based on running about cleaning your hamster and how to bathe your hamster, I will pop it in the card above if you want to click on that. If you are concerned about your hamster's fur, for instance if they start giving off a weird smell or things start looking dirty or greasy, you may want to go contact your vet and see if you can get a vet appointment just to make sure everything is okay. If you haven't got a sand bath by the time you go see your vet, your vet actually may recommend that you give your hamster a sand bath so that they can clean their fur. Because hamsters naturally clean themselves, they shouldn't actually need sand baths. But giving your hamster a sand bath can actually help them clean their fur and it can make their fur look a little bit healthier and glossier at the same time. While sand baths are allowed for hamsters, dust baths aren't and this is because it can affect the respiratory system. So it can actually give them respiratory problems just by breathing in that dust. So just watch when you're buying the sand for your hamster that you don't pick up chinchilla dust or sand dust or anything like that because it will cause problems for your hamster's breathing. Hamsters can have a lot of fun rolling around and playing in sand baths. However, just remember every hamster's personality is different and you may find that yours doesn't actually like a sand bath, they may just avoid it at all costs or they'll just use it as their loo. Dwarf hamsters typically seem to prefer sand baths more than Syrian, but this isn't a strict rule. You may actually have a Syrian that loves a sand bath. If your hamster does enjoy your sand bath, it can be another way to keep your hamster entertained and give them something to do. And it's also a great form of exercise. After all, with all that rolling around, it's got to build some muscle and lose a pound. That was so cheesy. It is entirely up to you how often you want to offer your hamster a sand bath. Some people like to keep hamster sand baths 
in their cage at all times so there is always an option for them every single day. Other people like to offer it less frequently. You could make it a strict playpen time so that your hamster only gets a sand bath when it's out for floor time or you could make the sand bath part of their enclosure like I have for my enclosure for Snowball. She has a full sand pit at one side of her cage so that she has all that space to roll around in sand because I do believe personally that sand baths are great for hamsters. The most important thing regardless of whether you offer it once a week or you offer it every day of the week is that you make sure you're giving your hamster safe and clean sand. If you do decide to go full time with the sand bath and you leave it in your hamster's cage you are going to want to spot clean this and clean it out and make sure that it doesn't get dirty because inadvertently it will become dirty eventually with your hamster urinating in it and doing its toilet in it and then all that grease from the fur builds up in the sand as well so the sand will need cleaned out once a month roughly with the rest of your cage. You do unfortunately need to clean the sand out because if you don't clean it out it won't keep your hamster as clean as what it's supposed to. Giving your hamster a sand bath will cause little to no effort for you. You'll just need to find a shallow and clean dish that your hamster can roll around in. You've got to make sure this is big enough for your hamster to roll around in. So this bowl I would only ever offer for a Roborowski and this I would probably give to a sitting because it would be big enough for a sitting to roll around in comfortably. But ideally you would want to go bigger than this for a sitting so that they've got a lot more space to roll around in but this size should be generally good. This is just a mushroom tray, this is a tray that mushrooms came in and I cleaned it out and kept it and it doubles up as a sand bath. If you would like to buy a commercially bought sand bath, I will put links to them in the description box and I'll put them in the comment box so that they're easier for you to get to if that's all you want to see. So all you want to do once you get your sand bath is to pour some of your sand into your dish, enough for your hamster, so about 2 or 3 inches, enough for your hamster to roll around in and place it in your hamster's cage. You don't need to do anything after this, your hamster will do the rest. Once your hamster has access to the sand bath, all you need to do is literally sit back and watch it enjoy itself. Your hamster will roll around the sand for a while, playing, digging and scratching and doing all of these motions, it ends up cleaning itself. There's no doubt in my mind that every single hamster will actually push the sand out of their bowls or out of their containers. So you may actually want to put the sand bath up against the edge of the cage so that it's at a corner so that it stops it from getting as much sand out. But at the end of the day, it's going to do this anyway, so yeah, it's entirely up to you where you want to place the sand bath in the cage. Before preparing your hamster's next sand bath, you will want to make sure that the container that you used is definitely clean and it's definitely dry and soap free. And then you can just go ahead, repeat the steps, put sand in, place it in your cage, your hamster will do the rest. If you have decided by now that you want to actually go ahead and try out a sand bath, you may be wondering what is the safest sand that I can get for my hamster. There are lots of different types of sand available on the market and on Amazon and when you're shopping online you want to be careful and carefully read the reviews for that sand because you don't want to order it and then end up with dust. Products named sand dust or got dust in the name is more likely to do your hamster more harm than good. The same goes for chinchilla dust. As I did say earlier in this video, it is important to get your hamster actual sand than dust because if you get dust it will just cause health problems which is not going to be enjoyable for you as a pet owner because you're going to need to make vet trips to make sure your hamster is okay and then you're going to need to feed your hamster medication to treat that respiratory infection. Sometimes there can be respiratory infections that can't actually be treated so you do want to be careful when you're buying sand. You will be questioning now is chinchilla sand safe for hamsters? Well chinchilla sand is safe for hamsters, it's just chinchilla dust that isn't. When you're buying that, if you want to buy the chinchilla sand, just make sure it definitely is chinchilla sand and it's not chinchilla dust. Children's play sand is usually the best to go for because you get more for your money and you know for a fact that you're definitely going to be getting a safe product. Usually because it's aimed towards children, it is treated in a different way and it's dust extracted and usually you get a decent bag for your money. If you are interested in buying children's play sand, I will link a list of safe sands in the description and in the comments along with those hamster sand baths as well. Well guys, that is us came at the end of this video. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you all next week. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the comments and hit me up with a like as it really really does help the channel. I cannot believe how close we are to 1000 subscribers. I literally checked my analytics today and we are at 897 by the time this video goes up it will probably be a lot more than that but 
yeah, today we had 897, which means we're so close to 900 subscribers. I just want to welcome everybody that's new and thank you for subscribing, thanks for supporting me and thank everyone who's been here for the long term. Thank you for sticking around for so long and supporting me as well. I do really appreciate it and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. You guys were really noisy during this video this time. Normally you are all sleeping at this time of the day, but no. Everyone's so awake and yeah, they make noise for my cats. And I do.